And I also want to show you a very sad sight just across from her and a little story which is... <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you about it right now. On Monday, which was five days ago, I woke up thinking, you know what, I'm a day off on Friday. I'm going to come out to Port Coburn. I want to get the drone. I want to be here like five o'clock in the morning and get some really early morning shots of uh, Algoma Transport uh, before they start scrapping her. Uh, get some nice, really, really good artistic shots with the sun being low, just coming up and stuff like that. Oh no, it didn't happen. Uh, right here in Niagara, YouTube channel based down here, uh, managed to get some shots and they've removed the stacks off her. So I had to scrap that idea. On January the 8th, 2024, the Algoma Transport entered Port Coburn under its own power for the final time. She was to be placed over at the Marine Recycling Corporation here in Port Coburn for scrapping. Once the engines were shut down later that day, that was it. She was done. For the next five months, the Algoma Transport would sit and await her fate. As ships of today sailed by numerous times passing this once amazing vessel that sailed the Great Lakes, and she just must have just looked on with sadness as she knew her time was coming for the scrapers and the torches to dismantle her. And that day came early in June.
really is such a sad sight. This is such a spectacular looking ship. Let's just hope uh, a lot of the stuff that's recycled doesn't just go to tin cans. Some of it will end up being back on the lake again as another, I don't freighter somewhere around the world. That'll be nice.